Hey everyone, today I'm showing you guys my winter wash and go routine. This is the best routine for me for the winter time just to make sure that I have moisture in my hair and to make sure that the moisture is locked into my hair. I love the melanin leave-in conditioner. You guys are probably going to get tired of seeing me using it, but it is so bomb. It's like really the perfect product. It's great as a leave-in. You can use it as a conditioner. It's great at detangling. It's not too heavy, but you can layer it on. It's it's just a really great product I use about three to four pumps per section I make sure that my hair is completely saturated in this before I move on to the next section because this is the base for my wash and go this is really where the moisture is coming in so I just want to make sure that my hair is completely moisturized my hair gets really dry during the winter time and my ends get split the most during the winter so I'm just making sure that my hair is moisturized and I'm making sure to lock in that moisture during this routine for my hair it's best to apply the products on my hair while it's soaking wet I really like applying this leave-in while I'm in the shower but for the sake of the video I'm not in the shower but my hair dries out so quick like my hair does not hold on to water if there's no product in my hair so I have to go in with the spray bottle to make sure that my hair is soaking wet so you'll see me go in even after I apply product to my hair with the water bottle to make sure that my hair is nice and wet it just helps to make sure that the product is actually going into my hair and not sitting on top of my hair. This next brand I was hesitant to post on my channel just because a lot of their products are a little too light for my hair type but this um, leave-in cream or this conditioning cream is bomb I only need a little bit of this for this whole section and this really locks in the moisture and really brings out definition in my hair this is my favorite curl smith product it works great in me and my daughter's hair but the rest of their lines they just seem a little too light for my hair type and I never get the results that everybody else seems to be getting but with this product right here this product is really great and you don't need too much as you guys can see I cut my hair I cut my hair a lot and I also added bangs so you're gonna see my hair looks a lot shorter and I actually don't like bangs I love the way the bangs look but for my lifestyle it's just not good I get hot I just hate the hair in my face at all times so the bangs didn't work out so I'm trying to grow out the layers that I do have in the front so that's why those pieces are short in the front I also cut off a lot of damage that was in the front of my hair too but I am trying to grow that out When there's no product in my hair, my hair dries extremely quick. So I am gonna stick this out of my head in the sink. I still have to apply more water because in between my hair was dry. And I'm just gonna do the same process that I did on the other side. I apply to my leave-in, then apply a little bit of the Curl Smith oil and cream.
I apply my leave-in and my cream, I'm just going to section my hair into the sections that I need it into so I can apply the gel and style my hair. I like to section off this middle part just so that there's no middle section in the middle of my head. This just helps a lot so everything just falls straight back. Since I cut most of the damage out of my hair, my goal now is to grow my hair to at least tailbone length and I'm not going to be able to do that without taking the proper steps and using the proper products in my hair. This is an oil mix that I make and it always helps when I'm growing my hair out. It contains olive oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba, argan, I infuse it with rosemary and it just always helps when I'm growing my hair out. I just apply a little bit to my ends and I make sure that I'm doing scalp massages with this oil oil especially in the sections where I need to focus on like that front area that I had to chop off so I'm applying this all over after I do that I'm going into smaller sections with my hair gel at this point you can do just like the praying hand method you can rake the product in use tangle teaser use your demon brush whatever you like to curl your hair do that from this point I like to do finger coils just because I can get at least seven days out of this wash and go when I do finger coils they just lasts so much longer so my hair is moisturized and just ready to be styled at this point If you do want to finger coil your hair, you do have to use a good amount of gel. Just make sure your hair is saturated in gel before you start twisting. This really takes me no time because I'm so used to doing it. So once my hair is covered in the gel, I'll just go in and twist. If I feel any tangles coming in, I just detangle them as I'm twisting with my Demon brush. It's pretty simple, doesn't take me too long at all. Once I get a large section done, I just go in with a microfiber towel or a t-shirt to scrunch out any of the excess water, any excess product, and this also helps to cut down on the drying time. So for this middle part, I just make sure that there's no part going down the middle of it. So I'll do these sides first and then do the middle of that. It makes more sense while you're watching it, but this just prevents any unnecessary parts or any unnecessary sections in the middle of your head. For this wash and go, I did my finger coils a little smaller than I usually do them. Usually it goes a lot faster when I do bigger sections. I just have to make sure that this section is smooth and saturated with a moisturizing product so that I can do bigger sections because it takes less time to do.
So this is how my hair looks once everything is finished. I'm just going to lay my edges then let it air dry overnight. Sometimes I diffuse but most of the time I don't because it does take a really long time. This is my hair the next day. I separated all the curls except for a couple in the front. When I am separating the curls, I make sure that I am twisting them back into the direction that they naturally fall just to avoid any frizz. And I separate them a lot. I don't even know how many times because each curl is different. Each curl is a different size. But I just separate it until I'm happy with the volume. My goal is to grow my hair to my tailbone. This is the hair growth oil that I always use when I'm trying to grow my hair. It's great for my ends because it protects my ends against the harsh weather that's going on here in New York right now. It is pretty cold. So I just love to rub this on my ends to make sure that my ends are not breaking, my ends are not splitting. And I love to focus this on the areas that need the extra TLC, like the area that I chopped off in the front of my hair. And also also, I use this for my scalp massages. I do scalp massages every night to help with hair growth as well. So once I rub the oil into my hair, I'm just going to fluff my hair out. I like to do it with my fingers, use my wide tooth comb. I just fluff out until I'm happy with how big my hair is. tuned to the videos that are going to be coming up on my channel they're going to be focusing a lot on hair growth and hair health I'm really trying to grow up these bangs I was so desperate for bangs I wanted them so bad but they are just not for me child so they gotta go I'm gonna be growing my hair out thank you guys so much for watching my winter hair routine I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe before you go thanks again and I'll see you guys later bye bye Thank you.